Hi, this is Dr. John Bergdorf. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the surface area of a polyhedron. This is an example of a polyhedron. You may remember that a polyhedron is a collection of polygons that are joined at their edges so that you have faces, which are the polygons themselves, edges, and vertices. And I'd like to figure out what the surface area is. This particular polyhedron is a tetrahedron. Uh, that particularly means a four-sided polyhedron in which all of the sides are congruent. In fact, they're all isosceles triangles. You can see that here with these measurements where I say, show in this side that this is 2.5 inches, so is this, and so is this. So that is indeed an isosceles triangle. The surface area would be the sum then of the areas of the four sides. And similarly with any other kind of polyhedron you have. So how do you calculate that? Well, basically you do this. You imagine that you take your scissors and cut along the edges so that you can separate this into its faces and lay them down on the table. Actually, you don't have to completely go that far. As long as you can cut it apart to the point where you could lay it flat and create what we've called in other places, the net for that shape, which would be right here, then you can look at your triangles or whatever other polygons you have in the while you're looking at the net. So I can see very plainly here that this polyhedron consists of four triangles joined at the edges. I also know what some of these lengths are. Let's, let's focus for a minute on the top uh, triangle for a second. This is 2.5 inches along this side. This is also 2.5 inches along this side. We'll mark that so you know exactly what I'm talking about. If I could in, even find the area of one of these triangles, like that one, the surface area would simply be four times that since they are all equivalent. Now, I need to remember a few things. I need to remember, for example, that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. In this particular triangle, 2.5 inches is the length of the base, as it is all sides, but we don't have the length of the height. The height is a line that runs perpendicular, runs through one vertex and perpendicular to the opposite side. In other words, it would look like that. And I'm interested in knowing how long that is. We'll call that H. Now notice that when I draw H, I create a right triangle, which I'm gonna just shade slightly in red so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. This triangle right in here. If I can use the Pythagorean theorem, I believe I can find H as long as I can figure out this side, which I know, and this side, which I can figure out. How do I figure out the length of this side? Well, if I draw this perpendicular line, it will divide the base of the overall big triangle exactly in half. So just the length from here to here would be 1.25 inches. Actually, let, I'll label this out here and put an arrow. That length is 1.25 inches. And that's enough that I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out H. Because H squared plus 1.25 squared, the sum of the lengths of the legs, would be equal to the sum of the hypotenuse. I can solve that easily for H by subtracting 1.25 squared from both sides and then taking a square root. My calculator is gonna handle all of this for me. So let's get my calculator out and handy and have it do this calculation. We'll clear that first of all. So let me put this where I think you can see it. We want to find the square root, so I can see the square root beginning to form there, of 2.5 squared minus 1.25 squared. Look at that way up where you can see it very clearly. 
there. That's a little bit better. Hit enter. And I'm gonna take that number and round it off to just three decimal places, 2.165. H is 2.165. And again, the unit on that is going to be inches. Now that I have that, that's my H. Since I'm looking at this entire triangle, the base of that triangle would be this length from here to here. That's going to be 2.5 inches. So the area of one triangle would be one half times the base, 2.5 inches, times the height, 2.165 inches. Let's do that calculation. So clearing again, area, let's say the one half, because this would be so, is 0.5. So I can get that angle good like I did a minute ago here. Uh, that's a little bit better. 0.5 times 2.5 times 2.165. And hopefully you can see that there. Perfect. Hit enter and we get 2.70625, but again, let's round that off to three decimal places. And to three decimal places, that'd be 2.706. 2.706 what? Well, all of my units are in inches, so this would be square inches. Now again, that's the area simply of one of the triangles that is one of the faces of this tetrahedron. There's four of them and they're all congruent. So the total area, which would give you my surface area, would be four times the number I just got, four times 2.706. And let's do that calculation. Four times 2.706. I'm gonna ask you to trust me on that. This one's pretty straightforward. 10.824. So the surface area of that polyhedron, that tetrahedron is 10.824 inches squared. I hope that gives you a good strategy for how to find the surface area of a polyhedron. Thanks for joining me.